I have to admit to you that I indulged in a moment of complete and utter weakness back there. If it wasn't for my boy Shep, I, uh, I surely would have been mermaid supper, that's for sure. But they, they were incredibly persuasive in their arguments, you know. Touching me very sensually and singing me songs, whispering sweet nothings into my ear. Every man's dream, and not to mention that the liquids they excrete are surprisingly tasty. And they certainly hit the spot, let me tell you. <laughs> I think I might just keep a couple of jars, you know, just for the journey's sake, yeah. yeah. Yes, all right, Chef, I'm coming. I won't tell him if you won't. I've got to hand it to this chap. For better or for worse, he's pulled me through thick and thin, if intentionally or not. But it's mysterious. It's like he only gets involved when he absolutely has to. I'll put a pin in that for now. Because I'm still not completely convinced on what exactly he is and what exactly he wants me to be doing. I guess we'll find out the more we go along.